Hi, this is Josh Clark with this week's episode of Be Your Best. Today I want to talk about doing the opposite. The opposite of what you feel like doing at the moment. The opposite of where the crowd is going. Now remember when I learned this concept as a late teenager, it had a profound effect on my life. And I've since then I've always strived to do the opposite of what I feel like doing at the moment. Earl Nightingale said it like this. He said, look at what the majority of people are doing and do the exact opposite and pro you'll probably never go wrong for as long as you live. You know, this is, it sounds so simple, but I'm telling you, it's amazing the impact, the difference it'll make because our feelings can be so deceptive. You know, you've heard the lie, if it feels right, just do it. That's wrong. If it feels right, the moment is probably going to take you where the majority are going, to broken marriages, to debt, to failure. You know, instead, do the opposite, to quitting. You know, we tell our children, you know, they say they want to quit school or they don't, you know, oh, I don't like this teacher. I don't like this class or I don't, you know, oh, I'll never learn how to ride my bike. And we say, do the opposite. Trust me, if you keep doing it, you'll succeed. You know, even Jerry Seinfeld knew this. When George Costanza said to him, he said, every decision I've ever made in my entire life has been wrong. Every instinct, he said, in every aspect of life, be it something to wear or something to eat, it's all been wrong. And Jerry Seinfeld said, if every instinct you have is wrong, then the opposite would have to be right. Isn't that true? So you sound so funny, but you know what? This is profound. You know, if you'll do the opposite when you, you feel like having that sugar, right? You feel like having that sweet and you do the opposite. Well, guess what? You're going to be happy with yourself when you get to the beach and you're looking great. When you're able to keep up with the family and be active and, and do fun stuff, you're going to be happy that you made that decision. You know, when you say no to that greasy meal that at the moment is so enticing, it's so alluring, and then a year later, you have your doctor checkup and, and your doctor says, good job, guess what? Everything, your blood work looks great. When later, even that same day that you said no to that greasy meal, when you feel great that afternoon. You're not bloated. You're not sluggish. And you're proud of the fact that you did the right thing. You know, when you come home from, from work at the end of the day and you're exhausted and you don't feel like engaging your spouse in conversation to say, hey, how are you doing today? And truly listening and then being willing to engage in a conversation if need be. And you're, you know, at the moment you don't feel like it, then you do it and it feels so right. You know, you do it and you have this marriage that you're celebrating 15, 20, 30, 50 years down the road and your family's all together and you've done the opposite of what everyone else has done. But guess what? You're, you're, you're reaping the rewards of having done the opposite. When everybody else's marriage is ending in divorce, you know, your marriage is succeeding. You know, you do the opposite. You're, you're walking through the mall and you say, I want that. I need that. I deserve that. And you say, no, I'm going to do the opposite of what I feel like doing. And then all of a sudden when the credit card bill comes, you're not stressed. You know, you can pay the bill and you feel good about it. You know, you, you, you get home from work at the end of the day and you, do, you feel like I deserve to sit on the couch and watch TV. And instead, you think you, you watch the opposite of what everybody else is watching. Or maybe you just unplug that sucker and you start a business instead. You know, you look at your income and you realize, hey, if I had an extra $500,000, I could retire early, I could pay off debt, I could get ahead. And so instead of doing what everybody else is doing and just chilling, you say, I'll take an hour a day, maybe two hours a day, and I'll invest it in starting a part-time business. You know, when, when you start that business and everybody tells you, you know what? You're not going to succeed. They said that to me. They said, I started a business in, in network marketing with a product I believed in. People said, you know, people don't succeed at that. And I said, you know what? If everybody else is saying don't do it, I'm going to do it. And then when it got to the point where my business wasn't taking off as fast as everybody else's and everything in me said, I want to quit. You know what? I'll take that job that pays a whole lot more. And you know what? Everything in me said, do it. And I said, I'm going to do the opposite. And you know what? It led to me getting to travel the world and enjoy my family, be able to give to my church, be able to be involved in ministry, to be free. I'm so glad that I did the opposite of what I felt like doing. You know, oftentimes, you know, you're going to feel like quitting. You're going to feel like giving in, but do the opposite because your feelings in the moment almost always will lead you wrong. So my simple piece of advice for you is do the opposite of what you feel like doing. And trust me, you'll be so happy with yourself. You'll be 
thrilled. You'll be excited with the life that you're living. You'll be so grateful for the discipline that you'll develop in the process. And let me tell you something. You don't feel right now probably like asking for an accountability to hold you accountable to this new, this truth that you're going to apply in your life. But I'm telling you right now, pick up the phone and you call somebody and you say, I've made the decision. I'm going to do the opposite. Ask me every week how I'm doing. Ask me. And guess what? You'll know those moments. You'll have plenty of them to share where you chose to do the opposite of what you felt like doing. And so here's my challenge to you. You know what it is. Choose today, right now. It's never too late. You might say, I wish I'd have started then. I wish I'd have started when I was a teenager. But you know what? Start today. And you know what? Take those stories where you did that did what you felt like doing in the moment and let that fuel you. Let that motivate you to encourage and inspire others. And you'll be able to look back and say, I did what I felt like doing and it didn't work. But then I chose to do the opposite and look at this beautiful life. And you're gonna be, you know what, you're gonna be a catalyst to inspire so many other people around you, your family, the people that you're church and your community, you know, to do the opposite of what they feel like doing too, because they want the life that you're now living. So, all right, now go out there and make it an awesome week. And I want to ask you, if this video has encouraged you, please take a moment and share it. And together we can be a catalyst to change the world one person at a time. And I want you to go one step further. I want you to think back to a moment where you did the opposite of what you felt like doing and you're so grateful for it. And write, post that, please. All right. Again, make it an awesome week. God bless.